Hey guys, I am Elizabeth, the Minister of Beauty, and I share the Bible. That's business inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. I am a licensed esthetician. I'm also a beauty business owner and operator and a skincare line creator. If you are new to the channel, you can go ahead and subscribe and to find out more about me, my websites are in the description box so you can go to the links there. But I wanted to just do a quick little vlog. It's been a little minute. This isn't about anything really in particular, but I just have had so much going on in my personal life and I know I don't really share a whole lot about my personal life here on my channel, but I have talked a little bit about some of the things that I've been experiencing in my life when it comes to my husband dealing with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and, <clears throat> excuse me, so I've been dealing with it as well. I haven't been diagnosed, but I believe that if someone were to diagnose me, they would say that I have it as well. But I've been going through therapy and my therapist definitely, you know, she hasn't diagnosed me as that because she's not licensed to do that, but she definitely believes that because of what my husband's been going through and some things that I've experienced also, I'm dealing with it also. So I'm just I'm just learning a whole lot more about it and we're navigating the system of the Veterans Administration because my husband is a veteran and it's a lengthy process. And honestly, it has been extremely tiring, exhausting, and at a lot of moments, extremely frustrating. And I will admit, I've shed a lot of tears, but I will say that the resilience in my faith that keeps me going and my beliefs that I have a greater purpose and that there's a greater um, one that I believe in that operates through me, that's really what helps me to keep going. And I believe it's also what has helped my husband to keep going as well, because it's been a lot. So, you know, with that being said, I just haven't really been able to be as consistent as I have desired to be. And I am really, really desiring to be more regularly, con you know, conducive to what I came here to do and producing the content that I want to share here. I am grateful for everybody who has been with me on this journey, but I want to get back to it. So I'm not using that as an excuse. It's just an explanation, but I just wanted to do a little quick vlog just to kind of share some things that have been going on, you know, in light of not really being as productive on this YouTube channel as I've been wanting to be. One of the things that I really got into doing more is on my other YouTube channel, which is also a podcast. So it's mainly audio. Um, I have the link to that YouTube channel in the description box, but you can check it out if you want to go over there and subscribe. But you just you just never really know who's listening or who may be watching, but I had the opportunity to do something that I've never done before. And to be honest with you, I was a little bit, well, not even a little bit, I was a lot nervous. I'm um, not going to lie, but... Um, someone who is on YouTube who has really excelled at the business of vlogging and content creation and interviews and all of those things. I'm wine with Tasha K is a YouTube channel. She I admire her work ethic. I don't care what anybody says about her. I I'm as you know, I'm a businesswoman, so I admire other women in business and in spite of what we as a public may see or are exposed to, or what we may be told, or what may be reported, she continues to keep going in spite of all of that, and I admire that. I really admire and I respect that, especially as another African-American woman. So with that being said, I had the opportunity to co-host her new show on her platform called Wine is the New Tea, and I was really honored that someone reached out to me from her team to ask me if I was interested. So that was flattering, that was an honor. And two, I decided to step out of my comfort zone because when I immediately heard from her team, my initial thought was to say, no, I don't think that's for me. And not because of anything regarding her channel or what she, um, what she does. It was really based on myself because a lot of her 
a lot of her content she does, she does live. And I'm not comfortable doing live videos. I'm just gonna be honest up front. I'm not comfortable doing live videos. So I just really was nervous about that. But something just said, just do it. And even a friend of mine, she, you know, cause I asked her about it and she said, girl, yeah, absolutely do it and just be yourself and have fun. And I'm so glad that I did because with everything that I have going on in my life right now, to be able to have the opportunity to co-host her new show on her platform with two other content creators that I didn't know personally, it was refreshing, it was fun, it was something that was different for me, so it helped me to step out of my comfort zone, and also it just really helped me to take my mind off of the things that I was going through or am going through right now in my own personal life, and it's actually one of the reasons why I even started the other YouTube channel, podcast YouTube channel, where I'm discussing things regarding trending topics and stories, entertainment, entertainers, um, some religious things, maybe some political things that, you know, may not be very comfortable to talk about, but just because it's out there and just wanting to share the story, share a little bit of my opinion on it and get other people's take on it. It's been something that's really helped me to navigate through the things that I've been dealing with in my life with PTSD. And I started it around the time of the the C word that hit the world and the country a few years ago. So I'm glad that I honestly have just, even with not really being able to be as consistent on this YouTube channel as I desire to be, because I love what I do over here as the minister of beauty, because sometimes we're just so bombarded with, news when it's not really news to be honest with you but it's just what we are inundated with especially those of us who are in the united states where we're always being we're always being bombarded so to speak with news about the kardashians or whatever things taylor swift travis kelsey like things that honestly does not mean anything to our personal lives but because it's out there they push it and then we talk about these things. It's been something that was fun for me to do. And it just really was something that I started doing and it's, it's continued to move forward. So even during those times where I may not have really felt like doing much, or I didn't have the brain power sometimes to sit and think about a topic that I wanted to talk about and share on this YouTube channel, it may not have been a it may have been a no-brainer for me to talk about i don't know diddy or <laughs> or beyonce or you know just because it's just there it's just out there so it's like it 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 was something that really helped me to even if i didn't feel like i was being consistent obviously i was being consistent there consistent enough for someone on her team to notice what I was talking about over there and to the point where they reached out to me. So honestly, the only reason why I'm even talking about this because it's not to come and say, hey guys, guess what? I got to co-host the Wine is a New Tea show on the Unwind with Tasha K YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm grateful for that. But what I really wanted to share this for is to just encourage you in life. You may be going through so much and it may feel and be so hard some days some you may not even feel like just getting out of the bed and i know i've i've had a lot of those days here even lately but you never really know who's listening and who's watching you so just do your best to put your best face and foot forward in everything that you do don't make excuses for what you're going through in your life you can give explanations. Sometimes people don't even care, but just get up to live another day and move forward. And I really mean this with every fiber of my being, because like I said, with my husband going through PTSD, there are moments where he may say, you know what? I'm good. Just, I I've lived a good life. You don't, you don't need me around anymore. And I'm like, are you crazy? We need you. We love you. And it's just for a moment. It's not that he doesn't want to live anymore, but because of 
things that he's experienced and gone through, there may be moments where he's just speaking out of his mind like that and it's not even really real. So there are no like attempts to take his life, but it's just speaking crazy talk. And I'm like, no, we need you, we love you, we want you here. And then the next minute he's talking about somewhere he wants to travel. You know what I mean? So it, hearing things like this and experiencing that, it just, it can be a lot. So having the opportunity to do that today, it was really fun and refreshing for me. But also with um, just having that opportunity, not even really feeling maybe prepared or worthy or uh, up to it or capable or, you know, whatever the feelings were, I decided to to do it anyway because there were little voices that were trying to say, maybe you should just reach out and say you had an emergency come up and you can't do it again. I'm like, I'm not going to do that because the one thing I will say that if I give my word on something, I'm going to do my best and it would really have to be an extreme emergency or something that really came up that was beyond my control where I would have to say, you know what, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to do it again. I, but no, I'm going to, I'm going to show up and do the best that I can being myself. I can only be me. And that's all I've ever tried to do with the content that I talk about and I share over here on the Minister of Beauty channel. So just being or, you know, naturally who I am, which is one of the reasons why when I come before you guys, I'm not wearing makeup. Like today, I have my brows filled in a little bit, not a whole lot, but I still don't have makeup on my face. I, I miss wearing my lashes now. You know, <laughs> I love my lashes because we specialize in that in my business. But the way my life has been, I haven't had the time to lay down on any of my team members' treatment tables to get in and get my lashes done and I miss wearing my lashes but my life has just been like that the past several years and um even doing the services I'm still working in my business but I'm not working as much in my business due to the things that you know I'm going through in my personal life so I'm just I'm just really thankful for having the opportunity to do what I did today on the I'm Wine with Tasha K YouTube channel and getting to meet other people who are, you know, content creators that have their own opinions on different topics that we were discussing today. And I'll put the link to that video in the description box so that you can check it out. And also, if you're not subscribed to her channel, be sure to, to subscribe, become one of the other millions of subscribers that she has over there. But I am really grateful because not just because of that opportunity, but um, today I feel was a really good day. We got the opportunity to speak with an advocate at the Veterans Administration that's really trying to help us to get some of the things that we really need that my husband has been deserving for a number of years that he didn't even know or was aware that he qualifies for. You know what I mean? He is a veteran. He is, um, you know, someone that had, he was honorably discharged. He has a number of awards and medals that he received in his years of service. And it's amazing sometimes how we downplay our greatness. And I do believe that something that my husband has done downplayed his greatness and to hear this woman on the phone because you know sometimes let's just be honest a lot of times these people especially when they work for the government they're not really caring it's just like they come in clock in clock out and um they don't really care about the people that they are supposed to be working for it's just a check so to hear someone who actually is working for the veterans administration but also is an advocate and she's literally speaking to say i'm here to help you and you know sitting there and listening to her share like you have done so much for this country like just like reminding him of what he has done and so to hear someone who's actually working in 
the office that's you know supposed to really be there to help them and to work for them but you rarely hear people in those spaces talking like that you may meet somebody on the street and they'll you know you tell them you know yeah i served in a million oh yeah thank you for your service you know you hear things like that but to hear someone who's actually in the veterans administration to literally say that to him and to as he sat there because this was over the phone um phone conference we had this afternoon and to hear her say that you know i just kind of looked at him and just like shook my head like yeah like own that you you deserve because he yeah it, it's a lot i could go into so much but like i said i'm not going to go into everything but i really am so grateful that now it just seems like even before i thought oh we're on track. We're going to be getting him the help that he needs. He got some help last year. It was helpful, but there was a number of things that were left to be desired. So it kind of left him hanging in a lot of areas, which left me hanging. And it was just, it was really disappointing. It really was. So, you know, I'm just navigating this veterans administration system along with my husband to try to really get him the help and the support that he needs and in the meantime really trying to keep things going with my own brick and mortar business the online business ventures that i'm doing my youtube channel here my other youtube channel and you know and then getting that opportunity to be a guest co-host on a platform that has millions of subscribers to me like again like i said i'm super flattered and uh, extremely grateful but um trying to do everything that I have the ability to do in a way where one, I'm being myself, but two, showing up and and not just being lax about er, you know anything because everything that I do, every idea that I come up with, everything that I you know want to put the work into, I want to execute with excellence. And I will say that that is one thing that has been a little bit frustrating for me because I know how I want things to be. I know how I want things to be structured. I know I like to have my schedule. I like to have things organized and detailed. And when you're living in a world where things are a bit crazy, unplanned, you don't know what the next moment is going to be. You don't know what phone call or text message you're gonna receive. It can have you on eggshells, walking on eggshells. And I, I don't like living like that, but it's just kind of been that way. So I'm doing the best that I can with what I have and trying my best to get back to the place where I can plan ahead and try to try my best to be consistent. But the other thing I just wanted to briefly touch on is manifestation because manifestation really is amazing. I went to a vision board party last month one of my friends and clients she had a vision board party and it was just a small group of ladies that she invited and i had a really great time and i was so intentional and i said you know there are some things that i really desire to see happen this year and i love the way she had the setup of it um but I said, you know, I believe that something great is going to happen to me in my life here in the next three months. Like I was really intentional about that. I'm not going to go into everything right now, but I will say that for starters, I believe one thing has already happened because like I said, just the mere fact that another content creator that has a really professional, large platform on YouTube saw me saw what i was talking about and sharing and reached out to me to say hey i would love to have you come and guest co-host on my platform that happened this month that is something that i believe from my desire and manifesting that actually happened so manifestation it can be difficult when you're going through so much in your life where it just seems like it's really hard to really focus on positive things and good things and things that you desire to see happen in your life when you are constantly being hammered and bombarded with so many negative things but you really have to 
be intentional and try to carve out a space, even if it's just for a few moments, to focus in on the things that you desire. I'll tell you something that I do really quickly. When I go into my business location, I have my own room, my own office, and I have a closet in that room. And before I do anything, before, well, I turn the alarm off first if I'm the first one to come in, <laughs> okay? If I'm not the first one to come in, of course, I don't have to do that. And then I go into that room, I go into that closet, and I'm closing my eyes, even if it's just for a moment, and I'm being intentional and focusing in on positive, great things that I am desiring to have happen in my life. And I may say a prayer if I have time to do it, but like I said, I'm taking that moment. Sometimes it's hard to do that when you're behind the wheel because there's so many crazy people out on the roads these days and distractions and all that other stuff. And then you also don't wanna be driving with your eyes closed either, right? So I'm definitely not recommending you do that. But like I'm saying, if you're in a space like in your home and it just seems like there's so much turmoil, even if you could just step outside for a moment and close your eyes and focus in on something intentional, um, do what you have to do, even if it's just for a moment to break away so that you can focus on what you desire to see happening in your life. And when you are in a place where there's just so much negativity in your face, you may feel like it's impossible to do that. But take a moment. It doesn't have to be 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be an hour. But take a moment. And even if you can do it before you go to sleep, because I do believe that before you go to sleep, you want to set your subconscious to be prepared to focus on and dream about positive, great things. So as you sleep, you're not having nightmares or visions of when the next shoe is gonna drop or the next bomb is gonna go off. Like, that's what you don't want to have happen, okay? So manifestation, it is a real thing but it doesn't have to take a whole lot of work to do it. If you're trying to work to see the results of manifestation, then I believe that you're doing it wrong. So I just wanted to talk about that briefly, guys. But again, I just want to do a quick blog because I know I haven't really been sharing a whole lot of content here on my channel as of late, but I'm going to be getting back to it, sharing more business inspiration, more beauty tips, and doing some lifestyle vlogs again. But Again, I just wanna encourage you to keep going. In spite of what you see, try your best to focus on the things that you desire to see. I'm grateful that all that I'm going through is just chapters in my book of the story of my life. And no, everything doesn't feel good that you may be going through. I know everything doesn't feel good that I've been going through, but I believe that ultimately everything is going to work out for my good. So just live to see another day and believe that each day that you live you're getting closer to what you desire to see happen in your life so guys i again want to thank you so much for being here thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me as the minister of beauty as i share the bible that's again business inspiration beauty life and enjoyment so until next time subscribe to the channel like the video show it share it <laughs> with someone that you know like and love and until the next time i hope you all have an amazingly blessed and beautiful day <laughs>